Oh, you've been Marcus. Oh, hey. Nice. Stunfisk, trap Pokemon. It conceals itself in the mud of the seashore, then it waits. When a prey touch it, it delivers a jolt of electricity. Ooh, it's ground electric. I thought it was going to be like, uh, you know, water ground. Uh, let's see, what should I name this guy? I kind of want to name him Stunky, but I think that's the name of another Pokemon. Not that it matters too much, though. What about Stinky? I don't know. That would be kind of mean. Flatfish. There we go. Not super creative, but hey, it's something. Tax. I can do that too. Wait, what type is this thing again? Uh Bug grass? That wouldn't make any sense. Should probably be using more repels, considering I have quite a few, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But like at the same time, I'm kind of afraid that using too many repels will make me too weak, because I've already kind of been kind of been struggling with like the gym leaders and stuff. So it feels like fighting all these Pokemon is kinda of necessary, you know?
these Pokemon actually aren't giving me that much experience. So it's probably better just to avoid them altogether now that I think about it. At least when it comes to Snake, I don't know if I, um, it's the same for the other Pokemon in my party. Probably not. I'm sorry, Hollow. I haven't played the demo yet. What even is is the the demo on? Is it on? Is it on PC? Oh wait, the game is out already? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was just the demo. Oh, okay. That's pretty recent then. So, uh, most people out there are getting their, um, getting their heads crushed by being stepped on, uh, Big Booba, Vampire Lady. Well, it's still a good game, right? So... At least it didn't, you know, it didn't disappoint, I guess. Wow, 5 out of 10. That's slower than I thought. Oh, I forgot to ask. How you been, Hollow? Oh man, that sucks to hear. I hate, um, I hate having stress. It's just like, uh, when you're stressed, nothing can can get done, you know. But it's good that you're you're okay. I'm pretty, I don't know, kind of stressed too, like to be honest. Um, but other than that. I'm pretty alright. Mother's Day is... Um, Mother's Day is tomorrow, so... Uh, my folks are making some mole. And that's gonna be super exciting, I love mole, it's so good. Oh dang, Hollow. I hope you're alright. Geo. Acorn Girl. Yo. As I've been traveling lately, I've been thinking about things. Things like what I can do with my life and what I want to do, but... I'm thinking how cool it would be to be a model like Alyssa. And then how cool it would be to do research on Pokemon like Professor Juniper. If that's what I want to do, I'm gonna have to know a lot about Pokemon. So, would you please battle me? Okay. 
Yeah, I know I know her name is Bianca, but I just call her Acorn Lady because her head looks like an acorn because of the hat. So close to a level up. Oh, I see. Bianca. That's a pretty nice name. Hey, Squeaky, how's it going? I hope you had a, do, uh, had a good day at work. Wow. Oh, come on now. That's a funny problem to have, Squeaky. Okay, Squeaky, make your case. That's a pretty good case, I have to admit. Having double rivals is cool too, but that's kind of been a thing since Gen 3. Oh dang, Hollow, that must have been awkward. The fact that that wasn't the first time that happened is, I don't know, that, that's so strange to me. Thing if, if not, uh, ambitious is not the right word. Uh, determined. That's that's it. Yep, Geo, you're amazing. I'm really, really, really impressed, and that makes me want to give this to you. Nice. Aw, little hat. Thingy majiggy. In Castelia City, my precious Pokemon was stolen by Team Plasma, so I really, really understand. If Team Plasma forces everyone to liberate their Pokemon, there will be nothing but sad people. Geo, stop seeing Plasma. I don't allow Pokemon to be stolen from trainers who love them. I think that's the truth, or ideal, that you've been pursuing, Geo. Oh dear. Here I've come all this way, and I'm afraid I'm bothering you when you're going through so much. All I wanted was to help you relax, Geo. Knowing you, you'll be fine. 
definitely. You'll totally be fine. I guarantee it. Anyway, so, uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, so, bye-bye. I mean, like, yeah, like, I'll admit I, I've been there too, Marcus. On the, on the 3DS. Uh, I'm, you know, I'll admit that. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes, and you know, just gotta, you know. Ooh, this is cool. It's like a railway in a bridge. Oh, nice. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie to you and say that I haven't. Hey, thanks, ninja guys, for helping me walk five steps faster. Getsis, we brought you the one you wanted. Excellent. It seems that you have attained the Dark Stone. I congratulate you on a job well done. It is my lord's end thought that the two holders of the legendary Pokemon shall put their beliefs on the line and strive to find which is the true hero. This is not necessary, however. From his infancy, I provided him with the education required to become the hero of legend. Indeed, he has been so acknowledged by the legendary Pokemon. Such purity is purpose was of his. The liberation of Pokemon of which I of which Team Plasma speaks is the separation of Pokemon from foolish people. That's the truth. All trainers will become helpless to resist us. We alone will be able to use Pokemon. The preparations are complete. When my perfect plan is set in motion, first a few gullible Pokemon trainers who are unable to resist Team Plasma will release their Pokemon. Then that number will be come a hundred, then a thousand. In no time, even the gym leader and the champion will be able to fight us. Having a Pokemon will be considered a bad thing. Even Pokemon like the sad little Bianca, or even people like the sad little Bianca whose Pokemon was stolen in Castilia, will be unable to face public opinion and will release their Pokemon. That's the kind of world we'll make. You may have the stone, but there's no chance whatsoever that the legendary Pokemon will accept you as the hero. So if you're not willing to hand over your precious Pokemon, I suggest you search for some courage, because you're going to need it. Hey, Carl. Hey, I was actually going to ask you about Sonic Omen because I watched some some video yesterday about like gameplay and and story stuff about it. Okay, thanks. Look at this dude.
I know, right? This guy is... He's, like, trying to run me over. Pretty all right. Um, kind of stressed because of school, but other than that, pretty all right. How was your day? I had no idea that those were a thing, Squeaky. So like you you basically taste a cloud and and then you get energy. Oh right, Remy still faints it. Whoops. Yeah, that, that's definitely true, uh, Carl. Like, even if they're doing, like, super, like, well, like, super shitty stuff, right? Like, you shouldn't go out of your way to harass them. You should just kind of denounce what they're doing, right? I didn't even know that Sonic Omens was a paid fan game. Which, like, when you put it in that perspective, like, they're, they're making mon money off of it, then, like, yeah, that's kind of bootlegging, you know? I don't know how far I am for the next Pokemon Center. Ooh, there's a mall here. Maybe we'll find uh, a GameStop inside. Uh oh. <laughs> this is not what I expected. That makes me really happy to see Squeaky. Like, uh, you know, reminding yourself that people are still people, you know? Yeah, man. Like, retail workers have it the hardest right now. Like, whenever I go shopping, I try to... Uh... You know, just be as considerate and polite as possible, especially to retail workers. You know, you know me too. Me too, Marcus. I, I still actually really like going to GameStop and seeing what they have and stuff. But not because, um, you know, I'm there to, to buy, like, uh, you know, modern games and stuff. I'm there for the retro stuff that they always have lying around. And no one wants, so I just scoop that stuff up. Oof, that's yikes, Marcus.
Yeah, Marcus. Like, I, I always like visiting uh, the GameStop in the mall because, like I said, they just have a, a bunch of cool old games that no one wants anymore. Like, they they literally shoved the, uh, the like, little stand thing for their games into, the, like, the, the corner. And you can barely see it because there's, like, uh, there's, like, uh, like, cardboard cutouts for, like, game ads covering it. So there's always some pretty cool stuff there. Oh, that sucks, Carl. That's like a really... That's really scummy. I, I don't like that at all. I haven't, actually. I didn't know that uh, that you could ask for such a thing. Although, I, I found a copy of, of Pokemon Diamond on GameStop's website um, the other day, like two two or three days ago, and I was so tempted to buy it. It was, it was like, what, 60, 70 bucks, I guess, but that's, that's better than like the 100 plus on eBay. I know, I'm like, yeah, I should probably hold out for Platinum. Unfortunately, they didn't have Platinum. I had a Platinum, but I gave it to my brother when he lost it, man. And he says that, um, he said that he may have dropped it in between the, the, like, cushions of a couch, but we gave away that couch. So, maybe there's someone out there who's very happy because they found a free copy of Pokemon Platinum on their couch. And to them I say, well, congratulations, I'm sad now. Man, that just put a damper on the whole experience for, for Sonic Omens Carl. Like, I thought it looked really awesome. I'm like, dang, like, this is a fan game, right? But, like, I don't know how to feel about, about that, after, like, now. Now that I know that, I guess. Yeah, maybe I'll get it in the future. Because I don't want to spend too much right now. Dang, uh, Squeaky is going to give Marcus the death penalty for having an opinion, huh? Well, you know what they say about opinions? Everyone has one, and they're objectively wrong. So how dare you have one?
What's the appearance rate for Munchlax on Honey Trees again? It's like 2% or something. Oh man, original Yu-Gi-Oh, huh? I've only watched a little bit of it because whenever my mom would walk in on me watching Yu-Gi-Oh, um, she would get angry and tell me to change the channel, so. Wait, it's based on your secret ID and trainer ID? Seriously? Why would they ever do that? Why would they not just have it like a flat rate? Man, it, it like surprised me to no end to learn that Yu-Gi-Oh is owned by Konami. Like that blew my mind. And I only figured that out like a couple of years ago. I mean, that's basically what it is for for all, like, TCGs, right? You gotta get the, the rare ones. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, Carl. Because... Sonic fan games are, are kind of like, I don't know, kind of like the lifeblood of, of the community, right? Like, everyone loves Sonic fan games. And Sega's definitely not, you know, giving us what we want, I guess. Double battle. I mean, yeah, but you're still gambling on, like, uh, on having a chase card, you know? Like, having one of the super cool, ultra rare ones. Even, even though you get something out of it, you know? Is that why Nintendo is so, like, universally strict with with fan games nowadays? Because it started in Japan and just spread to Nintendo of America as well? Let's see what kind of Pokemon we can find here. I kind of don't even care about being in season with like TCG. Well, at least with Pokemon. Do you see that the new uh, the new set was 
I guess, announced or revealed for the next TCG. Which is gonna be like, what is it called? Like, EV Heroes or something? Something like that. I was, like, I really didn't have, um, any interest in, in battle styles. But, um, EV Heroes, like, the chance of getting, like, a super cool looking card of, of Umbreon, like, one of my favorite, or, like, the favorite Pokemon, oh, uh, like, for me, is super enticing. It really has, yeah. Like, they're impossible to find nowadays. And the only, um... The only reason why I really want to get them, because they look cool. I really like the art and having the, the like, uh, little stack of cards. They look shiny and neat. I don't even play TCG. Yeah, I feel like it also kind of has something to do with, um, like, on-stream or on-YouTube video, like, unboxings. I feel like that has a, you know, a big influence on the recent, I guess, rise in, in popular, popularity of, uh, of Pokemon TCG. Yeah, I think that was the the Shining Fates chase card, right? The the like Charizard, Mega Charizard or something. Rip Hollow. What happened to him? Did you like sell him off, or did you lose him again? find, uh, you know, um, a box of, of the new EV heroes or whatever, because I want to get an Umbreon card, but that's probably not going to happen, because of course they're scalped super hard. Oh man, that's pretty extreme, Hollow. Huh? Yeah, I am. I I decided like a while ago that I would I would do the post game just for completion's sake, you know. I'm really enjoying, you know, playing Pokemon again, right? So I thought, you know, hey, why not? Let's do some some post game stuff, you know. I mean, it may be worth 40 cents on the market, but it's probably worth a lot more than that to you, and that what, that's what counts, you know? I mean, yeah, Carl, but like, those defenses are like, Kind of weak because if you're paying for it like if you you know if people even if you're not directly paying for it the fact that someone else ha does have to pay for it for it to you know uh keep going is is scummy
The double. Out of the way. Who said I'm not? Ugh. Yeah, that's that's the biggest thing for me about the Pokemon TCG is just collecting. You know, collecting shiny cool cards. Yeah, Carl. Like, that's the bottom line for me. Um, they're making money off of uh, Sega's property, and that's just, that's just not good. Ooh, I don't know. Oh no. Hey, check it out. I want one of those things. Well, like, there you go, Carl. Like, that's a problem. Like, it, it doesn't matter where you're coming from, that's a problem. That's... Like, if they're making money off of Sega's property, they're, they're like, copyrighted content, you know, their IP, then... then that's actually illegal, so... Probably a Samurai. It doesn't look very Power Rangers to me. Those are pretty much the, uh, the go-to Super Sentai characters I think about. I thought the game looks cool. The oh, like the addition of the grappling beam looks like it helps the flow of gameplay quite a bit, and that's super cool. But now that you have basically explained all these things to me, I'm like, oh, right. No, I've been cursed. Ooh, nice. C cursed removed. Reversed. No! Question for me. Uh oh. I'll answer. Sorry, I will not marry him. That's not in the cards. Ponyard. Sharp blade Pokemon. They fight at Bisharp's command. They cling to their prey and inflict damage by sinking their blades into it. That sounds terrifying. What do we name him? Alright, what's your actual question though? Joe? Okay. Oh, you, you wanna be him? Alright. You're not a Pokemon yet, so this is a perfect opportunity.
perfect. Perfect fit. Yeah, I just made it like 444 because the next best thing is 1313 or something, right? Or, I don't know, 666? Something like that. And that's just, like, a little bit too much. No, more shoes are retired now. He he retired from full screen appearances and became an emote. Hey, now we're learning something. I didn't know that. Yeah, dude. Uh oh, I'm detecting some awesome music. Hello, Geo. This way. What a liar. Desperately trying to con everyone with his speech. That's correct. Our Lord N has combined his power with the legendary dragon-type Pokémon, and intends to create a new world. We herald the return of the hero of Unova, founder of this region. Pokemon are different from people. They are living beings who could and contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. They are beings whose greatness we should acknowledge. Beings who should be free from our oppression. We, Team Plasma, invite you to join us. We all want to create a new world where Pokemon and people are both free. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now, please, release your Pokemon. And so, I end my plea to you today. Thank you one and all for your attention. Alright, well, see ya I guess. That was very facade, like in Mojo 3, you know? Is it true? Have we been making Pokemon suffer? Hmm, maybe we should release our Pokemon like Team Plasma says. No way. Without Pokemon, I'll be lonely and sad. What was that about? That speech was off the charts strange. The corporation, or the cooperation of Pokemon and people is how Unova came to exist to begin with. If a Pokemon really didn't want anything to do with humans, it would simply leave. Capturing a Pokemon in a Pokeball doesn't mean you've captured its heart. Let's go, Geo. It's been a while, Iris and Drayden. Oh, Mr. Alder. And the guy who helped me out that time. What's wrong? What does the wandering champion who has left the Pokemon League need from us? Briefly, my request is this. Tell us about the legendary Dragon-type Pokémon. Are you talking about Reshiram or Zekrom? What's the sudden interest? Moments ago, a trouble neighbor known as Getsis was here. He said a Pokémon named... or a trainer named N was... has re reawakened Reshiram. Yes, 
That trainer called N apparently told Geo here to search for the other dragon type Pokemon. Let me check that I have this straight. But this N or what have you presumes to set the two dragon type Pokemon against each other in battle to test his convictions? Oh no. A dragon type Pokemon get along so well. That's right, Iris. The ones who make Pokemon battle are the trainers. And it's so the trainers and the Pokemon can get to know each other better. I'm going to the Pokemon League. No, I guess in this case I should say I'm returning to the Pokemon League. Of course, I'll defeat to N. I'll teach him about the beauty of this world where Pokemon and trainers live together in harmony. Also, Geo, I'll await your arrival. Once you obtain the Oplo Lucid Badge, come to the League. The Oplo Lucid Gym Leader is tough. Take care. Very well. I'm counting on you, Drayden and Iris. Aw, he's gone. Is he okay? He looked kinda angry. Don't worry, Iris. He's the strongest trainer in all of Unova. Well, Geo, is it? Come to my home. As Alder said, I'll tell you everything I can about the legendary dragon type Pokemon. Iris Child, please show the way. You bet. If it's Opelucid City, I can take you anywhere. As for the story of Reshiram and Zekrom, we'll tell you all we know about it. This way. I know who this is. She's from the anime. That way. Oh, playing a violin. Dang, Hollow. We're gonna start. Are we, are we gonna? Are we gonna do this? Are we gonna start like? Uh, are we gonna start the argument of who is best girl and stuff, with regards to Pokemon? Oh, I missed a bunch of chat stuff. I thought the gameplay for Omens looked pretty alright. Uh, I don't know how how good it it really feels to play because I haven't played it, but I thought it looked okay. But still, that doesn't excuse the the uh, the scumminess of of the developers. Dang, they got you, Hollow. Oh, is, this is the uh, the effort value lady. That's kind of funny. That's a funny dynamic. whole thing about this looks actually pretty interesting hey thanks for stopping by squeaky it's nice that you're treating your your, uh, your mom for Mother's Day I, I guess definitely spend some time with her and and uh, be good to her I guess yeah tomorrow's Mother's Day
Hey, welcome back, Hollow. This is really strange for me. Having to battle inside a, just like a random house in, in the city. Wait, no, that's wrong. Uh... With each triple battle I get into, um, like, the more I, I realize why they didn't bring back triple battles, it's so cluttered. Just look. What do you mean? I'm looking. And I can barely see anything because everything is in my face. That doesn't make sense, but that doesn't, uh, you know, detract from the fact that the screen is very cluttered when, when in the triple battle. Zoom out. I wish I could. What console did Final Fantasy X come out on? Was that on PS2? PS3? I know Final Fantasy IX was PS2, right? So it was PS2. Is Final Fantasy X the one with the guy laughing? Ha 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 ha. It is. That's pretty fantastic. Titus. Titus? Titus? How do you say that? Titus? Titus would make more sense, at least for me. Titus. Okay.
pretty sure Titus is also the name of like some kind of video game company that's not very good. I think they made Superman 64. But I can't be sure off the top of my head. Just a little farther. This is it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's probably what it is. I'll explain. What you are holding is the Dark Stone. Zekrom, who is likely... Who will likely awaken from the Dark Stone, and Reshiram, who is already awake, were once the same Pokémon. That single Dragon Pokémon, along with Twin Heroes, brought a new region into being, and people and Pokémon had happy lives. One day, however, the Twin Heroes, the older brother who sought the truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which one of them was right. The single Dragon-type Pokémon that had been with them all that time split its body into two. One sided with the older brother, and the other with the younger brother. In its pursuit of truth, the white Dragon-type Pokémon sought to usher in a new and better world. Its name was Reshiram. And the other, the black Dragon-type Pokémon, sought ideals to usher in a new world, a world of hope. Its name was Zekrom. Because the two of them were once the same entity, their battle raged endlessly, and neither one could be declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The twin heroes proclaimed that there was no one side that was right, and ceased the conflict. But, but, the two heroes then started the battle again, and an instant later, Reshiram and Zekrom destroyed Yenova with fire and lightning. Then they disappeared. But, if people work with Pokémon in the right way, we don't have to worry anymore about the world being destroyed. I mean, Reshiram and Zekrom work hard for everyone, and made a new region. So, it should be alright, I think. True, Pokémon cannot speak. People may hurt Pokémon even more by imposing their selfish thoughts on them. But no matter what, Pokémon and people believe in each other, need each other, and will continue to live together. Yeah. So I'm never gonna forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokémon from us. Sorry, we got a little off topic at the end. That is everything we know. Unfortunately, we don't know how to wake up the legendary Pokémon. I made a promise to Alder. You must win the gym badge from Opelucid Pokémon Gym. Iris, you go and be Geo's opponent at the Pokémon Gym. Yay! Look out, I'm really, really strong, just like Drayden. It's upstairs. It's kind of creepy how all these... All these houses are, like, devoid of color. At least in their construction. You know, the stuff that they're made out of. Bloodstone. Cool. Ring target. Never heard of this thing either. That's kind of odd. Well, I've never played League of Legends. Or, I have, but I never got into it. I played it once, and that was years and years ago. So, uh, I don't know if that, I guess, hero was around when I played it that one time. So I'm not familiar with, with the heroes in general. I love that you can hear the violin when you get close.
All right, let's see. Um, my team is looking all right, but I'm gonna grind just a little bit to be sure that I can actually get through this gym. I don't have any ice type Pokemon or any ice type moves, so it might be a bit tough. Oh, never mind then. Praying Mantis. Praying Mantis are pretty cool, but don't they eat each other when, like, they they mate? Like, the female eats the male, right? Oh, hey. Is this the evolution of Minchino? Same with spiders? Ew. I'm glad that people don't do that. Okay, so that means I don't have to... I don't really have to catch it. Imagine if, like, you... Like, <laughs> you, like, got married, and depending on how, like, your, your wife or, like, your, like, significant other or whatever felt, they would just, like, kill you and eat you. Oh, man. Like, maybe they're having a bad day. They remember that one thing that you did, like, seven years ago, and they're like, you know what? It's time for you to go. There she is. Dizzy Punch. That's probably not all that useful. Awesome. Now I'll just level up Nut and maybe Blah a little bit. And I think we should be all right. Yeah, that's true, Hollow, which is super unfortunate. I, I watched um, the Mitchells versus the Machines yesterday because uh, a lot of people were talking about it and saying that it was really good. So I hopped onto Netflix and watched the movie and yeah, I think it's pretty great. Um, one of the standout aspects of it is definitely the animation. Like the animation is super, I guess, bouncy, stretchy and inexpressive it's like really really cool like it's, it's really cool to see um and uh, it was it was pretty funny too i i laughed once which is an accomplishment 
for for any movie because I don't really laugh all that often. I like jokes and stuff. I smile, but laughing is is like kind of rare. And that that's not just me being like a I don't know an edge ward or something. It's like oh that's not funny, right? It's just like I don't know. I f I feel like the the threshold of laughter for me is pretty high. There were some parts in the movie that, that were, like, too, like, I don't have a better word than, than, than cringe. They were kind of cringe. Like, I don't like using the word, but, like, it's, it's kind of what it was. Just kind of cringe. But overall, I thought that it was a great movie. And I would definitely watch it again. I was talking about uh, the Mitchells versus the Machines. Yeah, I, I would definitely recommend it. It's pretty awesome. Just like a... I guess a uh, quick, in a nutshell, version of what I just explained. Um, there are a couple of cringe moments, like obviously, you know, it has to keep the kids entertained, right? But overall, really, really good movie. Animation is good, uh, the story was good, the dynamic between the characters was good. Pretty solid. The villain was cliche, and I could see it from like 700 million bajillion miles away. Like, it's, it's not... Like, the reveal of the villain... Luckily, it doesn't take too long, but... Like, come on. Like, if you're paying any attention at all, you'll know who it is. But, uh, yeah. Good movie. No, it was not the Fortnite villain. I don't even know who the villain of Fortnite is. Is this still Thanos, or... Or has that ship sailed, I guess? So it doesn't have any, any like true concrete villain. That's kind of weird. Doesn't Fortnite have like a one-player mode that no one plays? It's still in beta. How? I didn't know that. Well, I guess we know um, what makes the money, you know. And it's definitely not the one player mode. They found their, their golden goose and I guess they're not gonna stop riding on it.
Yeah, I remember that being like a community thing, right? Like you would have to team up and yeah, and take down Thanos. I'm still just surprised that that game doesn't have like a dedicated single player. Although I guess I shouldn't be because, like I said, like the multiplayer just makes so much money and it's just so popular. There's no need for a single player mode. Alright, let's tackle the gym. How hard could it be? Time to hydrate. Yeah, I feel like Fortnite is always in, like, the top three uh, of, like, being watched, you know? GTA is still up there because GTA Online is a thing, and Rockstar is never going to make a GTA 6 because uh, GTA 5 Online is just, like, it just prints money. Yeah, just chatting. I know all about that. There was like a, a controversy with like, I don't know, like streamers being in, in hot tubs or something. Yeah, which is like super bizarre to me. It's like, okay, what do you like? Uh, like what, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, you're just sitting in a hot tub. You're just talking while you're sitting in a hot tub? That doesn't seem very interesting. Well, like, you do you, right? Whoa, that's something I didn't expect. I never watched Planet of the Apes. There's a bunch of movies, right? Like, there's, there's like, I don't even know how many Planet of the Ape movies. Yeah, but that was just one of them. There was a time when it felt like Planet of the Apes was kind of like Call of Duty, you know? Like just, uh, just releasing every year or like every other year. At least back in like the 2010s or something. Was there really? Wow. Well, that doesn't surprise me, really. I mean, number one, licensed games usually aren't very good, like even, even just normal ones, you know? And number two, VR games are hard to make. So, yeah, put two and two together and 
you probably have a recipe for disaster if you don't know what you're doing. Wait, that's a thing? I didn't know that. I had no idea that Avatar had a game. Like, did it come out? Or, or like, was it canned? Because I... Like, this is the first time I'm hearing about that. not, you know, I wasn't following, uh, I guess the release of, of licensed video game movies, movie games, so I guess I wouldn't know. December 1st, 2009. Wow, I missed that release by a lot. Although, I guess I'm not missing much. Oh, speaking of movies and games, like, kind of related, I started watching Wakfu yesterday, and I got two episodes in. So, not, not super, super far into the show yet. Um, my initial thoughts are, like, it, it seems very fast-paced. Like, I don't know if that's, if that's, like, um, because of, like, some kind of like translation stuff like it was I'm pretty sure it was made of France right the the actual like animation and stuff the actual show so maybe it's because like they had to translate it so like they get like a, a little bit of the Sonic Adventure 2 syndrome where it sounds like uh, characters are talking each other like talking over each other sometimes so yeah yeah, I figured. Um, but even apart from that, I do feel like the pacing, at least with what I with what I uh, watched so far, is a bit fast. But I'm enjoying the show, even though I'm only two episodes in. I I want to see where it goes. I think my favorite character so far, and again, these are like early impressions, impressions, right? Is is probably a knight, Percival, or whatever his name is. I hope that got, I got that right. Just because the um the like dynamic between him and his like demon sword is pretty funny. I like it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did see that there was a movie on there. I was wondering uh, when I should watch that. So one, two, movie, and then three. Okay, got it. Versatile. I got it a little bit wrong. But yeah, I like him.
Uh oh, I forgot. That is down. Uh. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll get to that when I get to that. For right now, I just wanna, just wanna keep going with the series, right? You know, just like uh, just keep watching the episodes. Which one is Goltard again? Do I have like have I been introduced to him or or nah? Is he one of the dudes with the shovel? Okay, so that comes later. I have to say, I have some pretty, pretty strong, like, Dragon Ball, the Journey to the West vibes from, from the beginning of the show so far. And that's pretty cool, because I love Dragon Ball. I mean, they're always going to be there. It feels like that's what, uh, like, just chatting is, is mainly about. Whoa. I'm glad I got that burn off when I did. I don't know what happened. When those episodes are, like, when are they introduced? Like, will I get to them, like, in, in time? They just, like, sprinkle them in here and there, or, like, do they have dedicated episodes, like, that are, like, standalone OBA kind of things for that? doomed myself with using swagger. Okay, so later in season one. That's not good. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that in... in time. You know what the the coolest part of the show so far is for me? Just like unironically, unironically, the coolest part 
is that one of the voice actors for one of the kids in the village is voiced by the same voice actor who played Tails in the Sonic OVA. It's spot on, and if it's not them, then I am blown away at how accurate that sounds. Like, that's just one detail that I that I picked up on, and I was just like, yo! Yeah, I'll probably do that in my own time, so don't, you know, don't fret over it. I'll, like, look up to see if it's the, like, the actual voice actor or actress or whatever. And then I can just, uh, tell you. No, come on, I need to get out of here. I need to heal. Everyone's dead. Well, half my party, but still. I don't think I've used this many revives ever, and certainly not all at the same time. Great. Now I'm confuzzling myself with these puzzles. Hey, Marcus. That's probably not right. Yeah, confuzzle. There we go. Have you ever used the word kind of fuzzle? I use it all the time.
Hey, Confuzzle Gang. Oh, well, speaking of Reese, Reese got his vaccine uh, recently. So maybe by the time we all get our second dose, uh, we'll be able to hang out. I'm super excited. Yeah, I got my first dose last Monday. So hopefully, man, it's been way, way too long since we all hang out. I got super lucky actually because I didn't have to apply for for an actual um, time slot for like the the like general sign up stuff. I like I was fortunate enough to uh, to have the local fire department actually set up a mobile vaccination unit in my neighborhood. And I was able to get vaccinated there. I mean, it was sort of like a walk-in. They they went to the office and got approval from them, and then they went door to door, asking if people wanted to get vaccinated. And I, of course, I, I said yes. So I I got put on a, like a time slot, and. Then, a couple days later, I was able to get vaccinated. Yeah, like I said, really lucky. I'm really fortunate that that happened. I probably wouldn't have gotten it anytime soon otherwise. Yeah, you could do that. They have sign-up sheets online. Or, not not sheets, like, slots. If you just go to, um, our, our county's website, they should have the information there. Maybe I should have some, uh, spent some more time grinding because my Pokemon are just kind of dropping left and right. Oh well, I'll power through it. I could do that, but 
I'm kind of lost, man. Like, the reason I'm not going back and doing that now is because I don't know the way back. Oh. Well, that was fortunate. I did it! Are you proud of me? I did a thing! Look! Look! I I'm helping! I think we'll be able to, uh, to defeat Iris this stream. We have about, what, 12 minutes left for this segment before we move on to DuckTales Remastered. And it doesn't feel like she's that far away. Does the post game allow you to rematch gym leaders like it did in in Heart Gold and Soul Silver? Because it always feels like the like the gym leaders and the gyms are are useless after you beat them. At least in most Pokemon games, like there's just no reason to return to them. But for like stuff like Emerald, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, it was super cool to see like their team evolve and see them get stronger and stuff. It's also an opportunity for them to like fix their their teams because a lot of the teams just didn't make a lot of sense you know like sometimes they would have a type that is just non-existence in the in the region that they're in which doesn't make any sense but like once you beat the game and get the national decks they have like pokemon from other regions and stuff Three coffees. Yeah. Or like, uh... Flannery from... From... Emerald and... Sapphire and Ruby. Just like a Slugma, a Nummel, and... Another Slugma and a Torkoal. Luckily, they actually made it better in Emerald. They gave her a Slugma, um, uh, a Nummel, a Camerupt, and then a Torkoal, but still. It was something like that, but, but still not great. Slugma. Why is it funny? Because Slugma balls? Ha ha ha. I mean, yeah, I guess it does work. Oh, I have a shiny Slugma in, in Emerald. It's gray. It looks really cool. It's like, uh, volcanic ash. Or like bubbling hot volcanic ash or, or something like that. It looks really neat.
there we go. That took way too long. Kind of embarrassed. for foreheads. What about Sonic? Doesn't Sonic have a butt for a forehead as well? Wait, no. Not forehead. Uh, eyelids? I know. Yeah, I'm seeing them. But I'm just saying that Sonic also kind of has that going on with his eyes. This is all obviously an excuse for me to just talk about Sonic like I definitely never do ever. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I do sure love blue. Blue's my favorite color, and it's not because Sonic is blue. Hi, I'm Iris, the amazingly strong gym leader. Tell me, what Pokemon are you using? How will you fight? Ooh, I'm super curious, so let's just get started. Does, doesn't take too long. Hey, there we go. First try, poison. And then I can use the Venus Shock. Oh no, she feels the pain of the poison. That's kind of creepy. Like, I don't like the idea of that. Alright, Marcus, go. Defeat them. Too bad, you gotta endure the pain. Oh wait, she doesn't have shed skin on this one. Nice. Oh, speaking of, like this this is this is totally bizarre. Right, but like speaking of, uh, you know, that, um, I was watching a Joel stream yesterday and he was talking about like something called daggering, which is like a dance thing where like you literally like just like jump off of ladders and stuff and ram people with, you know. It's like you're doing like a flying, like, like a flying wrestling press, right? And it's, it's completely bizarre. Five for five, let's go. Five for five, baby. Unstoppable. That was easier than I thought.
Whoa, that was so cool. I'm so happy I could bounce a trainer as strong as you. The last one... Hey, that's the right badge, right? That's so cool. Not every Pokemon will do what you ask, no matter how big they are. Know what? I'll give you this TM too. Dragontail doesn't just do damage, it sends the other Pokemon back to its Pokeball too. Oh hey, I wonder how Mr. Alder is doing. I wonder if he's battling that trainer called N at the Pokemon League right now. Do you know about the Pokemon League? Past Victory Road at the end of Route 10. Okay, thank you for telling me where I need to go. Yeah, you just like kicked my my Pokemon over and over again. Thank you very much. Hello, how's Iris doing? Oh, I came to report on how to resurrect the legendary Zekrom. I thought it would be better to tell you in person than over the X transceiver. And as for the conclusion, well, I haven't figured it out yet. I'm sure the Pokemon will wake up when it deems someone worthy. More importantly, aren't you amazing? You have all eight of Unova's gym badges now, right? You've become so strong. You probably don't even know it, but you've changed a lot since you left New uh, Nuvema Town. Well then, I'll show you where such a strong trainer should head next. Pass through that gate, go down Route 10 and you'll arrive at the badge check gates. Once you get through Victory Road, which is past the gates, you're, you're finally at the uh, Pokemon League. Oh, that just made me think of when I was showing you around the Pokemon Center in Akumula Town. Geo, do you regret setting out on your Pokemon journey? What if I say yes? I really want to say yes and see what she says, but no. Yep, exactly what I'm doing. Alright, yes, I regret it. Oh, that's okay, don't worry, you don't have to tell me everything. But I'm very happy that you three chose to train Pokemon. Okay. No. Thanks, that's the greatest answer you could give. I was really happy, okay. I was really happy to be able to give you three of those Pokemon as a present. Because Pokemon create chances to meet more wonderful people and Pokemon. Geo, this is a present for you. Hey, nice. This Master Ball is the most powerful kind of Pokeball. You can catch any Pokemon without fail. This is the only way I can support you except to say, be true to yourself. No matter what happens, stay strong and keep going with your Pokemon. See ya. Yeah, I had a feeling that I shouldn't do that. I mean, not that I would ever do that anyway. Because Pokeballs are the ultimate balls. Like, I, I swear. I swear, nothing gets done without just regular Pokemon, or regular Pokeballs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm stocked up. I have... That was loud. Where are they? I have 76, is that enough? No? Alright, let's buy some more then. I need more! I need it! Give me your entire stock!
That should be enough. Hundred <laughs> hundred and fifty Pokeballs. Yeah, I think we're good. And nineteen Premier Balls. Not bad. Thanks for watching Pokemon White, guys. We got the last gym badge, so I guess that means we're almost done with uh, the the main story. After that, I'll, I'll definitely stream the post game because I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, dude, let's go. But uh, that's gonna be it for Pokemon White for today. I'll be back after a BRB with some DuckTales Remastered. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it has been long, hasn't it? But yeah, I'll be back in a couple of minutes, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>